Dressing change for pick and midline. Items to bring in. Clean gloves, central line dressing kit, a securement device, extra alcohol pads, and one mask. Prepare clean work area, perform hand hygiene, and apply mask. Position the patient so that the pick midline is easily accessible. Open central line dressing change kit on clean work area. Apply mask on patient. Place antiseptic gel in reach. Set up sterile kit. Open stat lock device and drop into sterile fields. When opening, grasp foam strip without touching stat lock and set aside. Removal of old dressing. Apply clean gloves to perform dressing removal. In order to stabilize the catheter and prevent migration during dressing change, place foam strip over the blue clave or at end of catheter. Stabilize the catheter by pressing down on the stat lock device with other hand and remove old dressing from its outer edge towards the insertion site to avoid pulling on the catheter. Use a low and slow removal technique. Avoid skin trauma by peeling the dressing back rather than pulling it up from the skin. When the CHG gel pad is exposed, grasp the corner of the gel pad and the transparent film dressing between thumb and finger. If needed, apply sterile alcohol swabs or sterile solution such as normal saline flush between CHG gel pad and skin to facilitate removal of the gel pad dressing. To remove the stat lock device, take three to four alcohol pads. First, squeeze excess alcohol onto pad and then rub them near the edge of the pad. The alcohol will help to dissolve the adhesive. Lift the pad and continue to stroke the undersurface with alcohol while gently lifting. Hold one side of the stat lock with one hand and then with the other hand, lift one edge of the lid and it will open. Repeat to open other lid, lift up the catheter. Discard old dressing and gloves in regular garbage. Inspect site for drainage, infection, and for inward or outward migration of catheter. Verify the external catheter length to ensure the catheter has not migrated. Inspect catheter for cracks, leaking, kinking. Clean hands using antiseptic gel hand rinse provided in kit. Prepping the site and placing a sterile dressing. Apply sterile gloves. Using an alcohol swab stick, start at insertion site and cleanse the skin in a circular motion to at least a two inch area around the catheter insertion site.
Allow to air dry and repeat this procedure two additional times. Ensure that your cleaning target securement site where stat lock was removed and will be reapplied. Using chloroprep swab starting at exit site, cleanse the skin for 30 seconds. Starting from insertion site and working outward. Utilize friction to at least a two inch area around the catheter insertion site. Allow to fully air dry for at least 30 seconds. Apply a window frame of Cavalon Skin Prep Solution around the catheter site to help dressing remain in place. Application of the new stat lock. Apply the skin protectant pad to the target securement site. Allow it to dry completely. Separate wing adhesive pad, but do not remove. Ensure that the arrow of the pick stat lock are pointing out towards the insertion site. First, place one of the catheter suture holes over either of the posts, then slide the catheter and post toward the second post until the suture hole fits over it easily. Next, press the stat lock device lids closed one side at a time Always connect the catheter to the stat lock device before adhering it to the skin to avoid excessive pressure on the patient's skin. Peel away the paper backing one set side at a time and place the anchor pad over the prepared site. Apply dressing. Peel the liner from the dressing. Turn over the sterile transparent dressing so the adhesive faces the skin. Ensure the CHG gel pad covers the catheter insertion site. Apply firm pressure to the entire dressing. Start over gel pad to enhance adhesion. Special note, be careful not to stretch the dressing during placement. Apply pressure to the securement border with one hand while removing paper frame with opposite hand. Remove notched tape strip from paper frame and place the notch towards the dressing and applies the tape strip out of the extension tubing and over the dressing border. Remove adhesive free tables. Apply label strip over tubing exit site. Remove gloves. Perform hand hygiene. Complete dressing label. Indicate catheter type pick or midline, date, time, and initials. Apply to dressing and apply tape over the label.